Are you tired of feeling stuck in your business? Do you want to take your company to the next level? In this video, I'm going to tell you three secrets I've used to scale all of my businesses. So first things first. First of all, you need to have a clear vision of where you want to see your business get to. How do I determine what I want to achieve in my business? Well, everyone's going to be a little bit different of what they want to achieve. What you need to figure out is what's going to make you comfortable, what numbers are worth your time to actually do that business and make that business go. So. For me, the number is going to be different than you. I would say that most people definitely want to make six figures. Some people might want to make seven or eight figures in a business. So once you figure out what you need to make, that's where you're going to determine if that business is the right business for you. What are some actionable steps that I can take to achieve my vision? Well, first off, you need to make a business plan, a business goal. Figure out how much money your business could possibly make if everything went right and how to grow it and how to get it to the next level. So if you don't have a business plan, you really don't know what you're doing with your business. I 100% think that your vision has to be measurable. If it's not measurable, you never know if you get there. You're never going to know if you succeeded. You're never going to know how much better you need to get. You're not going to know if you need to bring help in or if you know where you're at is good enough. So I always make sure that there's some measurable things. It could be how many customers I have. It could be how many employees I have. It could be how much money I'm bringing in. It could be how much money I'm making in profit. It could be how many new customers I'm getting every single month. It could be all kinds of different things, but you have to have some measurable things that are gonna show you that you're going in the right direction of where you wanna to get to. So when I think a business owner should step back in their own business is when they can use their time more valuably and do other stuff that's gonna bring in more income and turn the needle way more than what they're actually doing in the business today. So that's gonna lead me to my number two thing of how to grow your business. So you have to fire yourself and outsource everybody else that is doing a lot of the things you're doing. So there's many reasons why you should outsource. There's many things that you do in your day to day in your own business that there are other people that can do a lot better than you and more efficiently than you. So why would you do something that you can hire somebody $25, $30 an hour for when your time could be worth hundreds of dollars just growing your business and being more innovative and doing other things? It just doesn't make sense. Think about how much time and money that you're giving up by doing things that you don't enjoy and that you're not the best at. There's so many people that are better at you at so many of the things that you're doing and you gotta make sure the people that are better at it are doing it and you use your time to make more money doing the stuff that you enjoy and that you're the best at. There's so many ways to find people to outsource to. Literally what I do is I post tons of ads on my own social medias and I just have a ton of good response. But of course you can hire people that are good at recruiting. You can have your own HR department that find people and you could go on you know different websites like LinkedIn. You can go on job recruiters. You can go on monster.com career builder and there's just so many people you can find. Another good way is to just network with people. You should be networking this whole time. If you watch this video up here, you can see how important networking is. But once you network, you'll just meet all kinds of people and those people might be able to fill in some of your roles and if they don't, they might know people that they could refer to you and I get so many of my employees, so many of my partners by people referring people to me that work out so well. The way I figure out my own role in my businesses are, first off, I figure out what I really enjoy doing. If I don't enjoy doing it, I don't really want to do it. Typically, if I don't enjoy doing it, I'm not going to be really good at it anyway. So once you know what you enjoy doing, I promise you that's what you're going to be the best at. So for me, for an example, I'm a very visionary type person. I come up with all these ideas and I, I'm really good at negotiating. I'm really good at talking with people. I'm really good at building rapport. So what I'd like to do is I like to go out, talk to people, generate more business and buy other people's companies, buy other people's real estate. And that's what I'm good at. I'm not really good at the stuff behind the desk, making up contracts, putting stuff together being that integrator that puts it all together, that's super important, but that's not me. So I make sure that in every business I have, I get a really good partner, a really good employee that can do all that stuff. All the stuff I'm good at and all the stuff I enjoy doing is the stuff that I can make the most money for my company in. The stuff that I don't enjoy is the stuff I'm not as good at and I might be losing my company money doing that stuff. So it just doesn't make any sense. It's very rare for a business owner to be a very good visionary and a very good integrator both at the same time. They're usually really good at one or very good at the other. Some are a little bit okay at both, but usually not both. If you want to see the difference between a visionary and an integrator, I'm going to make a video about it, but make sure you comment below so I know that that's what you want to see. And guys, make sure you're subscribing to this channel. I don't know how many people really like my stuff. 
and not only subscribing, more importantly, comment on all the things that you wanna see me do, comment on all the different questions that you have because I'm gonna go through every single question and answer them, I promise you. But make sure you comment and make sure you like so I know that I'm doing the right videos for you. The way I manage everybody, once I get all these new people and I get rid of myself in running the business, I have all kinds of processes, systems, and KPIs in place. KPIs are key performing indicators. You have to have those in every single business. What you do every single week or every single month or every single quarter, depending on your business and what's important, you gotta review all these KPIs and see what everyone's doing. You, you basically determine from month to month, week to week, year to year, are your numbers going up, are your numbers going down, why they're going up, why they're going down. And then you discuss with your key level managers in place of what you expect and how things are going and how to get things better. Another way to get rid of yourself and have other people do stuff is having really good partners. So I made a lot of good videos about partners. If you want to see a really good video about partners, check out this video right here. It's very important when you get rid of yourself to have the right people in place. Um, one thing that I do that's really important that I see a lot of people make mistakes on is you want to get the best possible people in every single position that you have. You know, I want to save money in all my businesses, but the one way I don't want to save money is hiring people at the lower income of that particular job. So like if a job usually costs 50 to $60,000 to hire someone, I'm going to hire that $60,000 person, maybe even more. I want the best possible person in place to be in charge of everything because that's going to make the business literally go as high as possible or flop and go out of business. So now that you got your clear vision of where you want your business to go and you've fired yourself and outsourced and hired the best employees, the next most important thing is to let everybody know about your business. How do you do that? You do that by marketing. So I have many different ways I market my business based on what that business is. Now, obviously I made this awesome video over here about bolt-ons. That's probably one of my favorite ways to grow businesses, but assuming you're not doing bolt-ons, uh, you got to market, you got to do a lot of social media, you got to do a lot of Google pay per clicks. You know, some businesses do very well with mailers and you know, money mailers that come in your mail all the time. Some do really good with billboards. Some do good with radio and TV. Most businesses right now in today's world do really, really good with social media and paid online ads. The TVs and radios don't do as good as they used to like decades ago. Same with billboards. But there are some businesses that those could really work. You gotta understand your market, you gotta understand your niche, and you gotta understand what works well for that type of business. Something else that people don't think about as marketing, but it's very important, is customer service. Every single time somebody comes in and you have good customer service, that person will tell all their friends. That's another way of marketing, that's free marketing. So you gotta make sure that you have the best employees and great customer service, because on top of those customers keep coming back, I promise you they're gonna tell their friends. I mean, there are tons of businesses I buy, and when I buy it, they're doing all right, and I ask them what type of marketing they have in place, and they tell me, Marketing? What do you mean marketing? I just do everything by word of mouth and referrals. So keep in mind that's very important and that's only going to work if you have really good customer service. If you want to know another really cool way to market if you're not really good at marketing is go to ChatGPT and they can help you figure out the best ways to market your business. If you want to see a really cool video about ChatGPT and AI, check out this video right here. So we've talked about clear vision, we've talked about firing yourself and outsourcing, and we talked about marketing. If you want to see some really cool ways to market yourself and take yourself and your business to the next level, check out this social media video I made right here that's going to show you how to do everything you need to do.